Okay, so this video is talking about the over temp uh, malfunction over temp battery sensor. Uh, you can see here that this trailer is actually having this issue. And uh, I will just point out that the battery is sitting in the sun. You can see right there. So it's just soaking up all this extra heat. Uh, if I went and stick a thermometer in there, you would you would actually see that it's it's hotter than it really is just because of the metal is radiating that heat down. So in order to clear that temp sensor error, there's a couple things that you can do. Uh, first off, if you hit the down arrow several times, you'll go down through the menus and we want to go down to failure event and I will enter this and then there's failures current, which is menu item 410. And then if you want to look at the failure history, there's the 420. We're going to go into 410, and then here is my overtemp bat error, and you can see that exclamation mark up there. Now, if I hit enter in this mode, it'll clear it. Now, oh, look, it just came back again. So you, you can see how it's like instantly complaining. So that tells you that it's not a past error. This is an actual current error that keeps reoccurring. Sometimes I'll come in here and I'll clear it and then I'll clear it and I'm like, man, how many errors are there? And I realize, oh, it keeps adding them. You can pay attention to the timestamp here at the date and timestamp to give you a sense as to when this error got added. So there's a couple things you can do to try to circumvent this issue because we know that the batteries are not overheating. It is more of a overheated uh, uh, battery lid. So I'm going to escape all the way up to the main menu and I will now come down to settings and you have to go into installer mode to make this change which is then going to require you to go all the way down to password now when you put in the password you basically add up all these numbers so 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 6 plus 1 plus 0 so that ends up being 10 plus 7 so it's 17 so I'm going to hit enter and you can see that this little password guy is flashing now and then if I hit the up arrow you can see that it's going up. So I'm going to go all the way up to 17. Now when I click enter, you're going to see this level 0 go to a level 1. Here we go. Oink. There we go, level 1. I am now in installer mode. You have to be careful about this because you can inadvertently change something with your inverters that could cause other issues. So please be very mindful and careful if you ever go into installer mode. At this point, I'm now going to come up to battery settings. And I don't need to change the battery property. Uh, well, actually, let's go into battery property real quick. So that's, we got lead acid type. Uh, the battery uh, nominal capacity is 1196 amp hours. This is another interesting discussion. I'll post another video discussing this very issue as to why the, the batteries that are on the trailer are 510 amp hour, but we've discovered that they have a C six uh, discharge rate, which is higher than what the uh, Sunny Islands want. And so when you discharge a battery more efficiently, you can increase the actual amp hours because the chemical conversion is more efficient. Anyway, we'll save that for another video. Uh, here's your voltage nominal, which is 48. Okay, battery temp max, perfect. This is where I wanted to go. Right now it's saying don't go over 45 degrees. Well, I'm just gonna arbitrarily boost that up a little bit. I think the highest you can go is 50. So we're gonna go to 50 just to give us five more degrees Celsius. And then uh, the other interesting thing is uh, you also have a, a battery temp start. And this basically, you can hook up to one of your relays, a fan motor. So if your battery starts getting a little warm, you could actually have a little fan that the Sunny Island would kick on and actually start spinning up to ventilate the air in there, which can be helpful. And that's it, so I basically just changed it to be, oh, sorry, let me back up. That The battery temp sensor, that's the actual temp sensor. So right now it's 40 degrees. You can see that I'm at 40, and I was, I just raised the max to be 50. If you come down a little bit further, here is bat uh, fan temp start. And so that says at 40 degrees, turn on the fan, which is kind of cool. That's That's the thing I was starting to tell you about. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to now exit out. Now, by making that change, you'll notice right away, guess what? I don't have that error anymore. So if I go down here to the failure event, 
and come in here and go to current failures, I do have a high temp warning, but now when I clear it, it's gone. Oh, it came back. So this is a warning. So it's not the error. It's just, it's warning me that, hey, this is kind of high. Oh, you know what? Let me back up. Because if I go back to, uh, if I go to settings, battery, property, this means error. This means warning. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump that up to... 48. So like, don't, don't warn me. Well, let's, let's go to 45. Don't warn me until the battery temp sensor gets to 45 degrees Celsius, then warn me. But when we get to 50, then do the error. So now when I hit enter, confirm that now, as I come back here and I go down to failure event current, you can see that it is empty because there is no error. And another way that you can check your current sensor is if you go down to meters, which is menu item 100, and go into meters, then go down to battery, which is 120. And then in these batteries, you can see that's my state of charge. As I go down through this, you will see that I have a bat temperature, which is 38.2 degrees. Now, the reason this is already dropping is because I had the lid open. And so the sensor was in the sun and the sensor has black plastic on it. So the black plastic was heating up. So anyway, there you go. You can see that it's dropping down. Okay, that is what to do with a bad temp sensor.